everyone welcome back to my channel here we are for another project I'm glad you could stop by and join me while I play in my little craft area here uh, I'm doing another project that's going to go on my baker's rack and I'll show you a picture of my poor little baker's rack looks really lonely because it's all been deconstructed <laughs> And so I've got this project today, and I've got another project on Friday. And I think I'm going to then see if we can put it together and see what else we might need to get after that. But <clears throat> for today, I'm going to do a simple little project. I did one of these last year, and I think it's so cute the way it, it uh, shows up. So I'm going to try some more today. I am going to make one. I've got materials to make two. And I'll explain when we get down to the desk. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, we had fall last Sunday morning. Well, we had fall for six hours. That was it. And now it's right back up in the mid-90s again. Um, so, <laughs> But, of course, it'll get down in the 40s before this winter is over and we'll all be complaining how I'm frozen and so on and so forth. But anyway, it may not feel a lot like Christmas season and fall season but uh, it would certainly be getting to look like it and if you've been at the stores of course it looked like Christmas it went in July so okay so without any further ado let's come down to the table and I'll show you what it is I'm going to be making be right back hang in there okay what I'm going to be making is a lighted frame a lighted picture and I'm using basically all Dollar Tree items. I have, I'm going to just put one of these away because I'm not going to do two of them on camera. But I do have materials to make two. I have an 8, eight by 10 frame. And I'm just going to, let's get this open. And I have two gift bags, and I picked up this one I thought was really cute. See, as has the snowman. Now he's glittered on this side, not glittered on this side. I'm going to try the glitter side first and see if it works. If it doesn't, I can always use the other side. And the second one was this one is really cute with Santa and the reindeer. Now, even if you don't make... Um, lighted pieces. I, this is a really inexpensive and cute way to decorate for Christmas by just using gift bags and framing the picture that's on the gift bag. And you can put them around and they look so cute. And they look like you've got some really expensive decorations and it's just a Dollar Tree gift bag. I'm going to start by taking off the back of this And taking out the cardboard. Now I'm not going to use the little matting area because I want more of the bag to show up. So we'll just take that out. Now this piece of, I guess it's supposed to be cardboard, is what I'm going to use. You see it fits right in here. I'm going to use this to measure on the bag what size to make my cuts. So I think what I'll start with is just kind of cutting the bag in half. And you may not be able to get all of the picture in could have done this before I got on camera, but let's see the whole process. Okay. Now I said I was going to try the one that has the glitter on it first. So 
going to cut the bottom out of this so it will lay flat. Just cutting right along this bottom seam. So there you go. Let's see if I could just move you down a little bit here. Get a better view. There you go. Now I'm going to take this and see what I can get. I can get just about the whole picture, and that's great. So what I'm going to do is try to center this a little bit. Is take a pin. Just trace, make a mark where I want to cut. And I'm going to cut this out. Now, I don't cut very straight. I could go and I, I should have brought my paper trimmer down, which would have done a nice job. But I think this will be just fine. And this is actually above the ties, or right along the ties. So you're actually going to get the Merry Christmas in there too. And I'm going to go right along the line. There's a little extra paper on the inside at the top of this because of the ties that went through. Just have to cut through it. And I'm going to see, I might end up putting that piece of framing back in there. So let's just see how this fits these pieces out of the way. Oh, that looks good. In fact, the holes are just above the Merry Christmas so they don't show up. Very cute. And he sparkles nice. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is I have a set of these lights, and these are the Dollar Tree lights, and these are the ones that are yellow. Um, there are ten lights, and I want the bottom light to be down at the bottom of the frame because the battery pack will come out from the frame so I can turn it on and off. These lights are nice, but they don't have a timer on them. So you have to be able to turn them on and off. And of course they tie a knot with the first part of it to make life interesting. All right, so this is, let me see, this is the bottom. So I want my first light from the pack, okay, from the battery pack, to be down here somewhere. So the battery pack can come out and I can turn this on and off. So what I need to do now, and I have to go to the window to do this, I'm going to take this to the window. I'm going to hold it up like this, like you used to take 
pages and when you wanted to trace something. And I'm going to hold it up to the window, take my pen, and make a little mark of where I'd like the lights to be. And, and I have to leave you to do that because I don't have any windows in here where I'm standing. So I'll be back as soon as I have the back of this marked. Hold on. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And you can see, if, I don't know if you can see them on here or not. You can see I have some dots on the paper. Okay. And all I'm going to do is to take the lights start with the one next to the bag and I'm going to take some scotch tape and tape it on We'll go to the next one. And then you can see I'm just taping them up where I put my dots. There you go. See, they just kind of taped on the back. Now I'm going to take this frame, move it back, set this in the frame, put my little piece of cardboard on the back. And put the frame backing back on. down the pieces and you see we have the Santa, Santa Claus Santa Claus that's not a Santa Claus that's a snowman anyway we have the snowman here and this is coming out down at the bottom so this will set on the, the baker's rack and the little light switch will be below it and I forgot to bring the batteries I'll be right back hold on okay I've got the batteries <clears throat> and a word to the wise with these Dollar Tree little light sets you have to unscrew the screw in the back of the battery compartment So, make sure you have yourself one of these little teeny screwdrivers. I mean, for a dollar, they're not going to make it that easy, right? You could just pop the back off. No, you have to unscrew it. Okay. So, there you go. And I am going to switch the lights off so that you'll be able to see the effect.
Isn't that cute? And you see I've got um, the present slid up and I'm going to put one right in the middle of the snowman's face. I may go back and rearrange that, put one right there. But isn't he cute? Look at that. Sitting up on your mantle or up on my baker's rack. How cute is that? So I think I'll make another one. And I think the gold frame in the daytime lights back on. The gold frame in the daytime really shows up the picture nicely and the sparkles make it look nice even when it's not lit up. So that's my little project for today. Very simple. No time at all. It took a dollar, a dollar, and a dollar. Three dollars for this little project. And it's a cute little Christmas one. And I think this one will be even cuter with the, the reindeer and the Santa and the snowman. <laughs> so I'll get that one. And probably when you see my baker's rack, I'm not sure which one I'll put on there. But right now, that's the project for today. I'm glad you stopped by. We'll be back again Friday with a project involving my lantern. We need to do a lantern bow topper and fix up the inside of the lantern so that it'll be ready for Christmas. So I'll see you again on Friday. Everybody hang in there. Don't forget Sunday we're having Super Supper again. And this time it's going to be navy bean and ham soup. So I'll see you Friday for the lantern and the bow toppers and again on Sunday. Until then, let me just bring this up again. So there you go. Isn't this cute? I love it, love it, love it. And don't forget, with one bag, you can make two because there's two sides to the bag. This is a great project that you could do with your kids. Um, they might need a little help cutting out the bag. I need a little help cutting out the bag. But other than that, they can put it up against the, the window and make little dots where they want to have a light and glue the little bulbs on. There's nothing to it. So have fun. Make a few of these. Light up your living room for Christmas. Light up your Christmas mantle. Light up your baker's rack. Light up a side table and have fun. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this little project and I will see you again on Friday. We'll be working on a lantern. We need to fix the inside of the lantern for Christmas and we need to do a lantern bow topper. So until Friday have a great afternoon. Take care, and everybody plays nice now. Bye-bye.